Okay, big dog. Here's the next part. My feet are set. My core is engaged. Your hands have to be up. I see guys club and their hands drop. That's too big of a circle to club like that. If he's any good, he's going to punch you right here. He's going to punch you right here. Punch. Notice when I club, I have this hand up. It should be up. Just in case he catches me here, guess what I can do? Okay, I can take this hand, knock it down. I can chop club him off of me. I know that's next level. That's next level. But you gotta have quick hands. Like mixed martial arts. I did a little karate. It helped out a lot. I do a lot of karate drills when I work with my guys because their hands have to be like fire. Your hands have to be like fire, okay? If you happen to get caught here and his hands are here, I gotta have this hand up. When I have this hand up, I can chop him off and still work the outside. Watch this. Oh, he got me. Boom. Boom. Again, watch. This hand has to be up. You gotta protect your heart right here. Protect your heart. Hopefully you bring it to every game. Got your helmet, shoulder pads, bring your heart. I'm clubbing right here and he's got me here. That may happen, it's football, but it's okay. I got a secret weapon. I got plan B right here, my left arm. Watch this, he caught me here. I'm going to chop and club my arm back outside. Watch this, that's how you escape that. Now I'm not trying to club, chop him on his shoulder. I'm trying to chop my chest down. Why? Because that's where his fingers are. What's the weakest part of a man's arm? His fingers. People say elbows. Well, the elbows bend, yes, but the fingers let go. If I can chop your fingers, you're gonna let go, and you're gonna be a little hesitant to punch me next time. Get your hands off me, big dog. Don't touch me. I'm gonna chop them off. Just mess with you. I ain't like people touch me. So I had to learn to use my hands right here. If he catches me, I'm right here. I'm going to escape this move. You got to be able to escape some things, okay? Right here. Oh, he caught me here. Ooh, right here. Same thing this way. He caught me here. I have my inside hand up. He got me. I got to chop it off. Not here. Too far. He gets stronger the further you get to the body. The further you get to his body, the stronger his arm is. The further away from the body, the weaker his arm is. That's our secret. Right here. Inside hand is up. I'm going to chop and re-club. Right here. Notice I'm flipping my feet. Okay. Oh, he got me. That's okay. Chop it off. Work back outside. Right there. You understand that? Good. Now, what I want to talk about, coach, how do I come over? Once I've set my feet, Okay, once I've engaged my core and my hands are vertical, they're up, they're up, protecting my heart, just in case something come. And I got everything, coach. My core is engaged, when my core is engaged, it help, actually flips my hips already. All I gotta do is just replace them, okay? Once I do that, how do I get over? Do I come over here or do I come over here? Okay, truthfully, if you're about six, nine, 6'10", it's gonna be very easy. 6'6", six, 6'7". Six, six, Depends on who you're going against and how low he is, right? If I'm clubbing here and you've got him down here, it's okay to punch over. Be careful, okay, he may try to recover here. But if he does, punch over and just chop his arm off and work the edge, okay? Clear yourself. What you call clear yourself? Clean it up, clean it up, okay? I set my feet, engage my core, boom. The way I like to come over, is with my elbows tight. Why? I'm about six one and a half, six two. Most guys I went against were taller than I was. So I was not gonna punch over. I wasn't gonna do that. But what I wanted to do, watch this, was clear, clear myself. See that? That's martial arts. That's martial arts right there, okay? Here, I set my feet, engage my core. I'm clubbing him, hands are open. Elbows are out, I grab claw, and I'm gonna come over here, here, here. Why, coach? Because I don't wanna get punched in the ribs. 
And if he happens to try to recover on me, look what I can do. I'm in position to do what? Chop and dip. Just in case I need to escape or clear myself. Here, I've gotten caught like this before, trying to go over. And as I go over, I get caught and my feet get crossed. So I learned with my proportion, with what I've been given, gotta work with what you've been given, I've learned to come through with tight elbows. Just in case his hands are there, I come over with tight elbows and I change surface on him. Bam, bam, I still can get through. Beautiful thing when you do it right, okay? Let's, let's, let's look at it, here we go. Big feet, hands, just like that. Just like that, I'm going slow right now. So you can see what I'm doing. One, two. My chest is down, so he can't punch my chest. Can't even see my chest. Can you see what's on my shirt? A little bit? That's okay. Can you see what's on my shirt? If you can see what's on my shirt, I'm too high. Too high, too high. If I can see what's on your shirt, you're too high, okay? Can you see? Try it again. Can you see? No, a little bit, that's okay. Okay, core is engaged, hands are up. Here we go. Bring it back over. Here we go. Good. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Watch. Go to work. Oh, I like that. That one felt good. Did it look good? It felt good. It felt real good. Watch my feet. Watch the lines. I'm liking it. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Run in a circle. Go in a circle. Work on carving the corner. Good. One more time. Can you see my chest? Good. That's how you work. Big dog. Let's take this to another level. I know you can handle it. Watch this. Now, when you're setting your feet, it'd be nice if you could sell it. Sell and set. Set and sell. What you talking about, coach? Well, you might want him to think that I'm going down the center or that I'm going to go counter inside. Sell that to him. Make him be honest. Make him set vertical or set right there in the center. Make him set himself right there by selling it in your set. You've got to sell your set. Watch. Staff, that's what I call it, like a staff. Okay, he may think I am going to go this way. Okay, staff. Boom, boom. Come back inside. Sell in your set. Sell, sell, sell. I even go into the extension. Man, I'm a good actor, okay? I'm a great actor. And I like to sell where I'm going. So I have even sold it by actually giving him my ear. Ooh, I know. That's hard read. That's a hard read for him. Giving him my ear. And guess what's coming? Guess what's coming? That right paw coming on. That right paw coming. I'm selling it right there. Okay, made you look. Stop. Made you look. Right there. Sell it. Woo. That's good right there. You saw how I sold that thing? Right here. Right there. You ever seen somebody do that? They do like this and smack it with the other arm. That's what this is. Sell your set. One time. Here we go. Good. That's what I mean. Sell it. Got to go the other way. Sell it. Sell in your set. Here we go. Good. One more time. One more time. I love clubbing. I love working, period. Got my work gloves on today. I'm out here working, breathing hard. Getting this working. I ain't gonna lie, I'm breathing hard. But I love breathing hard. That means I'm out here working. I'm sweating. My shirt wet. I'm a trench king, baby. I know how to play in the trenches. 
You better get down the trenches or you ain't gonna make it. Right here, here we go. Sell it. Oof. One more time. Get up. Sell it. Sell it. Right here. Over. Nice and low. Oof. Right there. I like that right there. I like it. Hey, I was gonna work today, man. Way to work. Remember, we trench kings, baby. And we doing things five-star style. Hey, five-star athlete, let's go to work.